So you've connected your accounts to the platform. Let's set up your trade copier. Go to the trade copier button on the far left and click add master copier in the top right. First, you'll choose your copy from account. This will be your master account. I'm gonna choose account A. Then you'll choose your copy to account. This is the account that will be receiving trades from your copy from account. And I'm gonna go with account B. Now getting your risk type and risk setting is very important to get right. Thankfully, Traders Connect have a risk calculator that makes this very easy. So if you click here in the bottom left, it'll ask you whether you use percentage-based risk, lot-based risk, or a fixed lot size on every trade. So personally, I risk on a percentage basis, meaning that I risk 1% of my account on every trade. This is how I calculate my risk. So I'm gonna choose percentage-based risk and click next. So on my master account, I want to risk 1% per trade. And on my slave account, I also want to risk 1% per trade. So I'll fill this out and it will tell me that a balance multiplier with a risk setting of 100% will be optimal. So I'll click apply and there it is applied automatically. I'll give you another example. So let's say I use lot based risk, meaning I use three lots on every trade, no matter what. So I'll enter that here, I use three lots, and on my slave account, I want two lots. So I will enter that in here, and it'll tell me that a lot multiplier with a risk setting of 66.67% is optimal. So I'll click apply, and it's applied automatically. Notice that copy stop loss, copy take profit, and copy pending orders are turned off by default. And in most cases, we recommend leaving it this way. Having copy pending orders turned off means that your slave accounts will market execute the trade when your pending order is triggered on the master account. This is good because it ensures that you're tagged into the trade on all your slave accounts. There won't be any slave accounts that have missed the trade due to poor pricing feeds or poor broker spreads. Leaving copy take profit and copy stop loss turned off means that when your master, master trade is closed, your slave accounts will close the trade pretty much instantly, usually within about 30 to 50 milliseconds. This is good because if you were copying your stop loss, slaves with larger spreads or worse pricing feeds may have tagged you out prematurely, but leaving copy stop loss turned off and copy take profit turned off means that your slave accounts will close the trade exactly when your master account does so. For most people, this is basically the copier setup. You can click confirm and try placing a test trade. You may need to map your symbols, but we'll touch on this in another video. Thank you for watching.